I hate my room. I feel like it's boring. It doesn't represent me as a person. So it's time for a makeover. I'm starting to wonder if this is just a subconscious excuse for me to go to like thrift stores and rubbish sales and yard sales and like farmers markets and stuff because knowing myself it might be. Hello, welcome back. And yes, I am once again messing with my room. I've given this some thought and I think the root of my issues with my room style is that as a kid and as a teenager, I didn't necessarily style my room how I wanted to. So then once I like moved out and got an apartment with my boyfriend, I like styled my room very bright and kind of like girly-ish, which is fine. I have no issue with either of those things. But now that I'm going to be like 25 in a couple of months, I just feel like it doesn't represent me like up here and like in here and so I want something that's a little bit more like elevated and I don't want to say like mature just like a different style because people change and like tastes change and there's nothing wrong with that. That was a really long-winded and convoluted way to say that I want to make over my room at least my side of the room because this side over here is like the side that you're not seeing is my boyfriend's side but the side in front of me and kind of that wall a little bit is my side and I want to change it and I actually have like a bunch of inspo pictures because I have a Pinterest board um I want to get a new dresser because my current dresser is red and it's like fine but it's just not my taste so I've been browsing Facebook marketplace and I actually already went to an antique mall with my mom and got some really cute pieces so I'll be right back because obviously I have to do a little mini haul. Voice over Jess here because unfortunately I'm not brave enough to vlog in public. Um, Me and my mom love secondhand shopping and we used to go to antique malls all the time when I was a teenager so it was really fun like going back to an antique mall and just looking at every knickknack and like nook and cranny of the store and there were so many great things here fortunately some of them were too expensive for me which is great because then I take less stuff home but um there were a lot of things that were just really cool and I actually found a lot of stuff, which I am excited by because I feel like a lot of times when I go secondhand shopping, it's very hit or miss. But fortunately, there were lots of hits. She is very loud if I move too much. But first up, I got this baby. <laughs> She's just banging around. I got this baby at a yard sale for five buckaroos, and I think it is gorgeous. The stain, the stain, the lamp shade, oh my god, I can't talk. The lamp shade is a little stained, but either I will try getting that out, or if I simply can't, don't look too close. Oh my god, every time I look back at a clip of me holding this microphone, I literally look like I'm about to like inhale it, and... I apologize. I clearly am not used to holding this thing, and I will keep it at a respectable distance. You guys aren't ready for how cute this next piece is that I found at an antique mall with my mom yesterday. <laughs> Look at her. She is so cute. Like, she makes me so happy. Um, my idea, first of all, I want a new dresser, and so my idea is that I'll put her on top of the dresser, and I'll put, like, rings and jewelry in here and stuff, but in the meantime, I am going to put her safely away in a box, wrapped up, so nothing tragic happens to her. That's actually a lie. Right now, I'm going to keep her, like, right here in the background, just so she can, like, supervise and be, like, my little haul buddy. The last thing I found for my room at the antique mall is this cool little clamshell lamp. And you might think, Jess, that's not that great. Um, you're wrong because first of all, it's a clamshell. Second of all, it has a color changing light bulb. I actually ended up Googling it while I was at the antique mall and it is originally from Walmart, which I'm fine with because it was only like eight bucks and I do think it's a really cool ambiance piece. Obviously it reminds me of mermaids, which I love because I'm a cancer baby. 
I'm a water sign, so I think it's only appropriate. I think right now I'm going to go to my local thrift store and see if they have like any cool little trinkets like I can put on dressers or like nightstands or anything because my local thrift store has like really cute homeware because it's run by a bunch of like older women and so there's a lot of like grandma stuff in it which is perfect because I just happen to like basically have the same taste as a 70 year old grandmother and then tomorrow I think I'm gonna go to a couple of local like flea slash farmers markets that are going on and you all are coming with me buckle in put your seatbelt on go grab a snack because you guys need to be ready for the journey that is me completely making over my room within reason because i can't paint the walls and i do have a landlord i gotta do this quickly i literally turned my ac off just so you guys wouldn't hear it blasting but it's so freaking hot out <sighs> anyway um i lost my train of thought just pulling this up so it's obvious i am indeed wearing a top i'm gonna stop by my local thrift store and see if they have any like cute trinkets or various items that I would deem helpful in my room makeover search. I'm going in. I really love this thrift store for knickknacks and lucky for me that's exactly what I came here for. Um, they had a lot of cute stuff. Some of it was a little pricey for me. Like I really really thought about getting this clamshell. I thought it'd be a really cute little like trinket plate and it is really cute. I should have gotten it but it was five bucks and at the time five bucks just sounded like a lot because like I know it's not a lot of money but it is a lot for this thrift store if that makes sense. I apologize for the angle. You guys are literally in my phone holder that I put my phone in so I can like look at the Google Maps while I drive. Also, I had to turn my car off because my car was making the screen like jiggle and bounce and it would have made you all nauseous. So I'm going to do this quickly. Um, I got these really cute little dog wall art thingy majigs. They were a dollar each. Sorry, I couldn't figure out what to call them. Uh, they were a dollar each. They're very cute. I think they look really good on my bedroom wall because I want like a bunch of cute little like grandma-y things all over my wall. Um, oh my god, I'm starting to feel the heat. Next up, this butterfly crystal trinket box. It's so cute. I thought it'd be good to like put my SD cards in maybe because I have a ton of them for like my digital camera and my camcorder and nowhere to put them so they just kind of are scattered about my apartment and my boyfriend hates it and this isn't necessarily for my room but i found this really cute little cat mug and one thing about me is that i love mugs and i love like old vintage cool funny cute mugs whatever the whole gist of it um and i you could say i'm a collector of sorts I've literally had the car off for maybe three minutes and I'm already sweating. I'm sorry. It's got to go back on. I had to pick you guys up because my phone holder was just like bouncing. It was very violent and not good. Um, I think I'm going to go to a vintage store that's nearby because they might have some like cute little things, but I'll be the judge of that. I think I'm a big fat liar. I don't want to do that. It's so hot and disgusting outside. I can't fathom going to another store. So instead, I think I'm going to go to CVS, get some floss, then retreat back to the air conditioned safety net of my home. So I found this really cool vanity on Facebook Marketplace and I think it looked really cool in the corner of my room because I don't really have anywhere in my room to just like sit down and chill and do my makeup or like do whatever I want. Um, there's just nowhere for me to sit except like my bed. Um, and the people who listed it were so nice. Um, they listed it for 115 and I was going to try talking them down a little bit because that's a little high for me, but it is a really nice vanity and they were like super sweet and the girl's boyfriend is literally going to drive it all the way to my mom's house just to see if we like, like it. And if I don't like it, they're like, no problem. We'll just drive it back. So I'm not going to do that to them because uh, I would feel horrible trying to talk them down after they're going out of their way for me to see this vanity. And hopefully I'll like it. My one concern is I don't know if I'm like too tall for it because like I'm 5'10". So especially with older furniture, a lot of it's like too short for me. So I'm not like very comfortable with it or like when I sit at it. But 
if it does fit well. We got one furniture piece down and I do want to find a new dresser. So that's my goal after the vanity, but I guess we'll see. Are you ever like ready to leave, but your boyfriend just won't leave the bathroom? That's what I thought. The people who sold me this dresser were really nice. They literally delivered it to my mom's house and I stored it in my mom's garage for a few days while I figured out my room situation because at this point I had no room for it. It's Saturday morning, which means I am sleepy. And also we're gonna go to a couple of local markets so I can see if they have literally anything. But specifically, I do want to find like a like cool vintage looking gold frame mirror, some wall art, maybe some like cool little trinket boxes or like little trinket plates. Um, I don't know what the hell else. My latte definitely did not kick in yet. This is me getting coffee and this is me after I slammed my thumb in the door and it hurt a lot. Um, I went to a market with my mom and my boyfriend, and they had a lot of cool things. Um, I didn't really find anything. I saw one or two things that I thought were really cute, but at this point, I was, like, very unsure of myself. And then my boyfriend and I went to a antique mall that was right down the street. Once again, did not find anything, but I do believe in the idea of, you know, like, it never hurts to look. But then this like crazy thing happened and I had to file a complaint with the complaint department, which wasn't very helpful if you ask me. Me and my mom are going to an estate sale, which looked like it had promising things from the Facebook listing I saw. So here's hoping. Say hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> She's a woman of many words. <laughs> I didn't really get a lot of clips at the estate sale just because this used to be somebody's home so I tried to keep the clips very unidentifiable just to be a little bit more respectful and then after we left the estate sale I actually found a dresser on Marketplace and the guys there were so nice like they helped me put it in my car they didn't even let me lift a finger actually they did it themselves and I was really excited for this find. Now for the torturous part which was cleaning out everything that was in my room and and as much as I don't really enjoy cleaning, it felt really good just to like get rid of everything that has been bothering me for so, so long. I hit the finger that I broke a few months ago and had to have surgery on while I was putting my TV down. So let's just say I am in pain. Look at all the stuff that fell behind my dresser. Not my proudest moment. Like, I took all my clothes out of my dresser, um, I moved everything out, I cleaned my floor, and it's embarrassing how much crap fell behind my dresser, actually, but I'm only human. Um, and then, oh my god, I just did so much stuff. Now that I'm rewatching these clips, I'm, like, reliving my, like, frenzied state of, like, I must clean everything out because my boyfriend was home, but he was working, and my mom was actually here just, like, kind of watching me clean, which is fine. Sometimes I need someone to, like, watch me in order for me to, like, actually do it, um, and it was just not the most fun, but it did feel really good to empty out my space and kind of start fresh because I've been living here for a few years, and I just feel like my bedroom never truly looked how I wanted it to look or felt like it was me. So I'm glad that I took the initiative to do this because I enjoy being in my room a lot more now. She hates the possum. I love her. It's like 10 o'clock at night. I'm currently doing a lot of laundry as you can tell by the lack of sheets on my bed. Um, and I've been moving furniture in and out of my room all day in the heat. So needless to say, I am extremely exhausted, but I found a lot of cute things at the estate sale earlier and I wanna show you everything I got. I've actually been on the hunt for some cool candelabras and I found these and I thought they were just cool cause they have like these little like carvings or like paintings of roses on them. And I don't know, they just, they give the vibes that I'm going for. The price tag is still on here, but it was the last day of the estate sale, so everything was half off, and like, 
I love a good bargain. It's just a little trinket slash jewelry box with the flower on the front. And I really love that like the sides are clear so you can see what's in there. I basically just wanted stuff that I can put other stuff in. I also got a bunch of cool little wall art pieces with dried flowers in them. And I'm really excited to put all of these up on my wall because I just want like a bunch of crap everywhere. I think this is my favorite find. It's just this really cool little bowl slash like jewelry holder or ring holder. My boyfriend said that this is suggestive and looks like a vagina, but I think that he just has a perverse mind and it's a lovely, innocent, non-genitalia piece. That's all I found, but I wanted to show you all what I found before I put it up in my room. And then tomorrow, I think I'm gonna like continue my search. I do have a doctor's appointment because I'm getting an allergy test, but in between doing that and like the other things I have to do, I really wanna find like a gold, like vintage looking mirror to replace the macrame mirror I have in my room. Um, and I want to find like more wall art stuff and I also really want to find like new sheets and like a bed comforter but I think I'm gonna order that online uh, and yeah I definitely gonna be looking for like some finishing touches but we will see what happens tomorrow two days later okay after like a week of work and hunting and searching and moving furniture my room is mostly complete. I literally just sold my old dresser on Marketplace, so I am drenched with sweat because I had to carry it outside in the heat. So if you see me looking a little shiny, ignore it. I am happy to announce that my room is mostly complete. Yes, I say mostly and not totally because like I still want to find a new bedspread, but it is going to take forever for me and my boyfriend to agree on like a comforter set. Um, I also want more wall art back here, but for the most part, my room in front of me is pretty much done. Of course, there's like certain pieces I want to find like a different like holder for my makeup brushes and like way more wall art and stuff, but I have exhausted all of my local options. I've gone to all the flea markets, all the thrift stores. I've searched high and low on Facebook Marketplace. So for now, this is my finished room. I don't know if you guys are anxious about the reveal. I am, but first I have to like add a little before and after. so excited i love my new room i love like walking into my room and it just looks so much like neater and like more open um i still want to find like a little runner rug and like certain little pieces for my room um but for now this is pretty much like fully finished almost at least um and i'm really excited and i really like the way it looks and i definitely feel like it reflects me more as like an adult in my mid 20s <clears throat> and i hope you all like my room as much as me and it's okay if you don't i don't care because i love it and yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye